Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. <clears throat> We are gathered together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us call to mind our sins, and ask the Lord for pardon and mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who assigned St. Matthias a place in the College of Apostles, 
Grant us through His intercession that rejoicing at how Your love has been allotted to us, we may merit to be numbered among the elect. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, Your Son, who lives and reigns with You in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter stood up in the midst of the brothers and sisters. There was a group of about 120 persons in the one place. He said, My brothers and sisters, the scripture had to be fulfilled, which the Holy Spirit spoke beforehand, through the mouth of David, concerning Judas, who was the guide for those who arrested Jesus. Judas was numbered among us and was allotted a share in this ministry. For it is written in the book of Psalms, Let his encampment become desolate, and may no one dwell in it. And may another take his office. Therefore, it is necessary that the one of the men who accompanied us the whole time, the Lord Jesus, came and went among us, beginning from the baptism of John until the day on which he was taken up from us, become with us a witness to his resurrection. So they proposed to Joseph called Barsabbas, who was also known as Justus, and Matthias. Then they prayed, You, Lord, who know the hearts of all, show which one of these two you have chosen to take the place in this apostolic ministry, from which Judas turned away to go to his own place. Then they gave lots to them, and the lot fell upon Matthias, and he was counted with the eleven apostles. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. Praise you servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord, both now and forever. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. From the rising to the setting of the sun is the name of the Lord to be praised. High above all nations is the Lord, above the heavens is his glory. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. Who is like the Lord, our God, who is enthroned on high? and looks upon the heavens and the earth below. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. He raises up the lowly from the dust, from the dunghill he lifts up the poor, to seat them with the princes, with the princes of his own people. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. Please all stand. I chose you from the world to go and bear fruit that will last, says the Lord.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy might be in you and your joy might be complete. This is my commandment, love one another as I love you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friend. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends because I have told you everything I have heard from my Father. It was not you who chose me. It was I who chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. This I command you, love one another. My dear brothers and sisters, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa atin lahat. Today we are celebrating the Feast of St. Matthias. Siya yung ginawang kahalili na inelect na mga apostol pagkatapos mawala sa picture si Judas. Siya ang ginawang kapalit para yung doseng apostoles ay makumpleto uli. And we know Jesus himself called these twelve apostles, particularly elected them, so that they may symbolize the twelve tribes of Israel for their restoration. The apostles elected them, and we heard how the election went. In the first reading, ano ba yung kanilang mga naging parameters o criteria o qualifications how they chose a replacement to Judas. No? And it says here, no? kung ating babalikan ng ating first reading, ang sabi dito, May another take his office. It is necessary that one of the men who accompanied us the whole time, the Lord came and went among us, beginning from the baptism of John until the day on which he was taken up from us, becoming with us a witness of his resurrection. So, kung ating isasummarize, dalawa ang criteria. Kailangan sa simulat sa pool pa lang ng public ministry ni Jesus, nandun na siya. Observer, witness, kasama, bumubuntot doon sa ibang mga apostoles. At pangalawa, dapat saksi din siya. He also encountered Jesus in His resurrection. And this my dear brothers and sisters, no, is really a sign how God wanted the yung tinasabing um, apostolic tradition no, ay maging buo doon sa dose na yun. Na tanging doon sa dose na yun, deputed, no, inelect ni Jesus para magpahayag ng kanyang mabuting balita. Magpahayag ng kanyang um, kaligtasan para sa tanan. This happened 2,000 years ago. And I guess we ask, paano ba natin, Father, ma-apply ang pagbasa ngayon, especially ang kwento ni Matthias? 
Lahat ho tayo dito ay elected din. Lahat ho tayo dito ay pinili rin ni Jesus. Lahat ho tayo dito ay tinawag din, idimbitahan na makilahok, no? makigulo sa kanyang gawaing pagliligtas para sa lahat. No? We pride ourselves to be Catholics, no? We pride ourselves to be coming from the apostolic succession, coming from Peter himself. Pero ano nga ba ang hallmark ng pagiging totoong disipulo ni Jesus? Is it just apostolic succession? We heard in the gospel the magic word. Love one another. And they will know that you are my disciples. Hindi enough ang succession. Hindi enough na sabihin natin na nanggaling tayo doon sa dosing apostoles na inelek ni Jesus. Dapat sinusundan din natin ang kanyang pinakautos at ang pinakautos niya, yun din actual ang pinakamahirap. <laughs> Magmahalan kayo at malalaman nila na kayo ay aking mga tagasunod. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, siguro sa misang ito, pwede nating tanungin, ano bang pinangahawakan natin sa ating buhay panalampalataya? Paano ba tayo kumakapit dito? Perhaps it could be, you know, our personal relationship with God. No? That's why in other Christian denominations, no, a pastor would ask, do you accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior? Parang yung sinasabing personal faith experience. No? And this is actually one of the requisites. No? But more profoundly, I guess, no? mas malalaman na mga nag observa na tayo ay totoong disipulo ni Jesus, hindi lang kung tayo ay katoliko, kundi most profoundly, if we what? Give good egg sample. If we bear witness to the faith we profess to, kapag ang ating buhay ay nagbibigay, alin? Saksi, no? Ano ibig sabihin ba ng nagbibigay? Saksi, no? Consistent. Nakikita sa gawa. At ang buhay natin, nagiging ilaw din para sa iba. Ilaw in the sense that we attract people, not to ourselves, but to God. Ito ho ang hamon din. Christianity was called in the olden days, especially in the time of the apostles, after the resurrection, the way. Ang daan. Kaya yung dating daan, no? actually it is the way of Jesus. Yung kanyang pamamaraan. At yun ang pinakasusi na nakakaaki tayo ng ibang tao. Ang ating pananampalataya ay hindi lumalago sa pamamagitan ng pagkukonvert, no? proselytizing. It is not. It is by way of what? attraction na sa pamamagitan ng pagbibigay saksi natin sa ating pananampalataya nakakapag aki tayo na mga nag-oobserba sa atin na sumunod din kay Jesus and so my dear brothers and sisters sa misang ito through the intercession of Saint Matthias We beg 
and pray for God's grace that while we enjoy the apostolic succession, the election of the twelve, we are heirs of it. We also bear witness by the very lives we live. How is it to be a true disciple of Jesus? Papano ito? Love each other. Be a good witness. Live a life worthy of emulation so that those who observe may also be invited to do the same. Amen. Please stand. God chose Matthias to be an apostle, a witness to the resurrection. Let us pray that the Father's will may be done on earth in all places and undertakings. In every prayer we say, Sustain us, O Lord. Sustain us, O Lord, that the spirit of wisdom may guide the Pope and the bishops, especially in the exercise of their ministry as shepherds of the Church. Let us pray to the Lord. Sustain, Sustain us, O Lord. Lord, that those in authority may be zealous in their commitment to partake in saving souls. Let us pray to the Lord. Sustain, Sustain us, O Lord, o Lord, that there may be an increase in priestly and religious vocations in our community and in the family. Let us pray to the Lord. Sustain, Sustain us, O Lord, Lord, that consecrated men and women may have the true spirit of Jesus who came to serve and not to be served. Let us pray to the Lord. Sustain, Sustain us, us, O Lord. Lord, that the faithful departed may see the salvation of God in His kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Sustain, Sustain us, us, O Lord. Lord. Almighty God, Your Son chose us and bore fruit in our lives. Grant these prayers we may we make through the intercession of Saint Matthias through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, the offerings of your church, reverently presented for the feast of St. Matthias, and through them, Strengthen us by the power of your grace, through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you, Eternal Shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles, watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the true fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving you thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Matthias, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all the glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, bread and, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver, but deliver us from, from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days 
that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, has said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Never cease, O Lord, we pray, to fill your family with divine gifts. And through the blessed Matthias' intercession for us, graciously admit us to a share in the lot of the saints in light through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Regina Jenny, 